Hello everyone, myself Mila Grawal. I'm an HR manager at FineCruise.com. Here I came for a new job opening in Porter Airlines as an in-flight service. At Porter Airlines, the role of an in-flight agent or a purser holds a pivotal position in delivering exceptional in-flight services to passengers. So as a senior cabin crew member, the purser embodies uh, professionalism, hospitality and attention to details throughout the flight uh, journey. Okay, so you will report to the manager in flight services and there are some duties and responsibilities like you are responsible to the captain for duties pertaining to passenger safety and comfort as well as supervision of flight attendants. You are responsible for controlling onboard service and monitoring the performance of flight attendants. Okay, you would have uh, responsible to ensure flight attendant proficiency in their safety knowledge and the highest, highest standards of service are met on every flight and you will ensure that uh, you achieve a good uh, comfortable working environment for a crew and a pleasant traveling experience for the passengers and responsible for in-flight documentation okay uh, details uh, about flight attendants and carry out duties assigned by the captain in matters concerning passenger safety and passengers relations okay Next, assume responsibility of a flight attendant while on assignments away from home base and responsible for the adherence of Porter brand and service standards. Okay. And mentor, uh, coach and motivate cabin crew to ensure the highest standards of safety and actively participate in Porter safety management system. Okay. So there are some behavior competencies like concern for safety. So you have to identify uh, any uh, hazards situation and taking appreciate action to maintain a safe environment uh, for self and others and teamwork there's another point then working collaboratively with others to achieve organizational goals okay. next is passenger and customer service so providing service excellence to internal or external customers second dealing with situation and issues proactively and seizing opportunities that arise and you have to focus on results, like focusing efforts on achieving high quality results consistent with the organization's standards. And you have to fostering communication. So listening and communicating openly, honestly, and respectfully with different audience, promoting dialogue and building consequences. Okay, so there are some qualifications you must have, like minimum 19 years of age at time of employment. Okay. Second thing is completion of secondary school. Uh, next, fluency in English and French is mandatory. Okay, and a minimum of uh, one or two years of experience in as a flight attendant is required. Okay, next, three to four years of experience uh, with the public uh, in a customer service role is required. Okay, and you must hold a current and valid Canadian passport. Okay, that prove that you are right to travel in Canada. Okay, second thing is obtain to uh, ability to obtain a restricted area identity card and successfully complete company screening process. Next is ability to meet required medical standards. Okay, and uh, superior communication and interpersonal skills, excellent process analysis and problem solving skills. Second, demonstrate a safety first mindset must successfully pass initial flight attendant training and maintain qualifications in order to operate as a person okay and you must have excellent safety and customer service knowledge and ability to work independently and as part of a team and you must be able to work flexible schedule and including weekends and holidays so these are all the details you required if you want to apply for a personal role Okay, so that's all for today. If you want to get updated with this type of new job openings, do subscribe to our channel and you can search the blog of flyingcrew.com. Thank you.